Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a video using mostly items that came out of our Boxy Lux for June 2020 and previous boxy charms and boxy luxes but our focus is on this TARDIS Pro palette the lip liners the BB cream I used all of that today this is the look I came up with and I will be giving away the new palette that I got out of boxy Lux and the brushes so that will be a pop-up giveaway coming very soon so be sure you are subscribed and you have that notification bell on so you won't miss that giveaway and guys this is going to be a good giveaway it's going to be a good giveaway. And if you want to see how I got this beautiful look, keep watching. Okay, guys, let's get into this. So today we're going to be using a lot of the stuff that came in my boxy charm. We're going to use some of it. Um, I want to start with the, the Pure Lease BB Cream. Now, I don't have anything on my face except some moisturizer. And that was from earlier today. I put on some moisturizer in my... Um, psoriasis medicine just to let that kind of sink in and do its thing so i'm using that boxy charm brush and my shade was the shade medium and let me get my mirror lord that mirror is dirty <laughs> it's time to clean the mirror shannon it's powder it's from like powder this has landed in laid on now see this is what i like it it's basically disappearing and you could take a little bit of full coverage and mix in with it if you wanted a little more coverage but you don't want full coverage i just took a little little, little more and spread that around but this is what i what I prefer. I want something where I can see my skin. I can still see my freckles. It doesn't look like a thick layer of makeup over my skin. I want my skin to be able to breathe, especially in the heat, which it's not gotten like crazy hot yet. But once we hit July, it's going to get crazy hot. It's going to start getting up in the high 90s, close to 100. Right now, we've been up in the high 80s. So, that was two pretty good pumps. That's more than what I would normally do, but I wanted to see kind of how it layered up on itself. You guys can see my pores. I mean, you can see my freckles. You can see my mole. It looks good. I mean, that's the way I, that's how I like my makeup to look. I'm going to take, I'll take a little bit of concealer. And since we're going with BoxyCharm, I'm going to use that Hey Honey. This is another very light product to me. To, I don't think it's like full coverage. It's just a very nice light product. I wouldn't even really call it like concealer. To me, it doesn't conceal. I mean, you know, it just kind of... Adds a little more coverage and brightens. I don't think it's like a concealer. <laughs> I'm going to take the smaller brush. And. I mean it covers a little bit. But to me it brightens more than anything. Just kind of brightens that area up. And I'm just kind of tapping. And then feathering. And then I just kind of blend it together there. Had a little bit left on the brush, so. Not bad. Next up, we will go ahead and powder the face. And I'm just going to grab this e.l.f. face powder. my brush that I always use. This is a Wet n Wild holiday collection. I, people ask me what brushes I'm using. This is from two years ago. I think it was 2018 holiday collection. 
Now, I still I have the whole set, but this is like my favorite brush out of the set. And I just grab for it all the time because it's like the perfect size for blush, the perfect size for bronzer. Speaking of um, butter bronzer, because I'm painting this one, it is part of my pan, pro summer pan project. So, get a lot on there. And it still smells really good. That's the thing about this bronzer. It's like, no matter how much I put on the brush, it still looks good. It's like you can't overdo it almost. I'm sure you can make it look like super powdery, but, um, come here, you I always just feather a little under the neck and around the jawline. Nothing crazy. It's getting there. That little spot's getting bigger. And I'm going to grab a blush out of my use up basket while I've got that. This is the Too Faced Strawberry. And I'm just going to mix them together. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake, shake it off. Shake it off, shake, shake. I don't want to get hit for copyright. <laughs> okay, so stick with Boxy Charm, pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer. I do like this one. I'm glad I got this one. This was the only thing in last month's box that I really liked. <laughs> Everything else was like, what? <laughs> The shampoo bar is still in my hubby's bathroom. Um, he said he would use it. He's still, it's in the box and the box is open. Because if you let soap air, like to the air, the bar will get harder and it will last longer. And remember I said it felt kind of slimy or slick. So it's in his bathroom in the box, but the box lid is open to let the air hit it. But he still hasn't used it. I'm going to grab my arsenal brushes that I always use. Big old fat fluffy brush. Somebody asked me what this one is. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can barely see. You guys can't see it, but right there, it used to say BH Cosmetics. And I got this with like, it was a bundle deal. You got like a palette, a set of lashes, and this brush. And I think it's just called a fluffy crease brush or fluffy blending brush. Or I've used it ever since I got it. I mean, it's just become one of the best brushes I've got. And it's a BH Cosmetics brush. But yeah, people keep asking me, what brushes are you using? And I use the same one, so I forget to tell you guys what they are. Okay. Eyeshadow set or eye primer set we're going to use the Tarte palette the new one is sitting right back here with the brushes guys i will be giving that palette away i just placed an order to grab some things to go with it for the giveaway now that's going to be a pop-up giveaway i don't know when i'm going to do it i just know i'm going to do it so you need to hit that subscription and get the thumbs up so you'll know when it's coming and i could have used the powder in here but i'm just gonna Pop that up at the brow, which is this one right here. I'm trying to hit pan in this. Also in my Tartlet palette, I'm trying to hit some pans. Haven't got there yet, but I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I use this palette all the time, guys. I have used this palette so much. This one is like really getting down in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I think I'm going to um go into that one and start some color just big fluffy light movements i like my eyeshadow just very soft blended If I don't hit painted that soon, I'm going to be mad because it's getting down in there. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to come back when. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is a 433 brush. I'm going to use that same shade mixed with a little bit of its neighbor. So that was Innocent, and I'm mixing it with a little bit of Whimsy. And I'm going to keep that right here. Like I said, I'm trying to get pan on at least one of these shadows. I mean, come on. But, I mean, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. And I don't have pan in any of them because I switch around so much. And for the last couple months since we've been, since we went to lockdown and we were in quarantine, I wasn't wearing makeup. Now we're wearing, we're required to wear face mask at work. So I'm not wearing makeup at work because your face mask is just rubbing it off. I'm going to go into... This color right here, cause I don't use it. Mm, mod. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with a little bit of a drama. We're just mixing those two together. I like mixing, I just like mixing my colors. And this might make a complete disaster. But you know what? Makeup washes off. So if it does make a complete disaster, it washes off. You know not to mix those colors again. <laughs> you know. And I've done it. I'll be like, I shouldn't have mixed those together. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done that. Do not use that combination. Same thing with like face primers and found, or like, have you ever, and I know I've said this before, um, you put on your moisturizer, then you put on your primer, and then you put on your foundation or whatever you're going to use, and it looks like absolute crap. And you're like, what did I just do wrong? You know, and it's, it's something that you just layered because it might be a foundation you've used for years, but you put it over a new moisturizer, and then that moisturizer didn't like your primer, and the primer just... It done something, you know, so it's completely just, looks like crap. Done it many a time. I go straight in the bathroom, take it all off and use a different primer or something and come back and try something different and it works out. Or you get all that base down and you go to powder it and for some reason, once you powder it, it looks like crap. And you're like, what did I just do? <laughs> This is the Tapered Blending Brush from Lavish. This is another set from BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I can't remember. Probably BoxyCharm because I've not got my Ipsy in a while. I'm going to come into Vamp. I never use this shade. This really dark plummy color. I never use this shade. So tap that off. But I am really just staying... We're just going to stay right here in this corner and see how that does. And I'm just like stamping it and then I kind of go back and forth like this and then I go in a circle. See, just a circle, back and forth, circle. That's all I'm doing. Back and forth, circle, back and forth. And then I'm gonna see if I match. And that's when you can kind of blend a little more, add a little more, start out light, cause you can't really take away. You can add, but you can't really take away. Okay, I think that's good. Next brush I'm going to grab. I'm just going to grab this little Moda brush. Again, Boxy Charm. That's what I said. I don't need that brush set. I have, I have 
have two mugs that look like this. Two mugs. And then I have a whole nother brush container organizer back there of brushes that are still pretty much brand new. This is one of those holiday brushes I have never used. I mean, there's... Here is... Um, and it cosmetics and it's the one that looks like the rose I would not use that because I didn't want to mess it up but I have like a whole thing of brushes back here that are uh, brand new that I've had forever they're dusty look can you see the dust they're dusty from sitting back there because I've never used them but, I mean there's ones I've used there's ones I've used sitting back there too but there's a ton of ones I've not used, so I don't need any more brushes. <laughs> I love that BoxyCharm gives us brushes because for new people just starting out, they need brushes, you know? I have used, I think, all four of these shades at some point in time in our videos because I've used this palette many a time and I try to do something different with it each time I use it. So I'm going to go into Minx, which is this one right here with this little brush. Yeah, we're just going to stay right out. Well, we'll, we'll go two-thirds. We'll, we'll go two-thirds. Shoot, why not? Sometimes I feel like Bob Ross. We're just going to put a happy little shadow. You guys ever feel that way when you're doing your makeup? We're just going to put a happy little highlight. It's going to live right here. Got to make those decisions. Clean that brush off really good. So I'm going to come into Glam, which is this one. And Little Miss Glam is going to come like this and sweep it right over top of that plum. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. That's why I said I like it blended. See, so pat it right beside. Then take what's left and sweep it right over top. Don't cover it completely up, but just blend it together meld it mesh it together and see how that looks really pretty now if you think you've lost some of that plum you could come back and just pat pick up a little bit and just pat and while i've got that on that brush we're just going to sweep a little bit of that under okay another okay little pencil brush luxy brush i'm gonna come into that vamp color there is a black in here and i love this black for eyeliner but i think for right now this is vamp it's dark enough i'm gonna grab this winky lux that we got one of the boxes Oh no, that's my eyebrow pencil. Didn't I have? We're gonna we'll use that too. Didn't I get a um a felt tip liner in one of our boxes? This one, Ilamasca. Is that the one I'm thinking of? I knew it was a. It's a felt tip because I said I needed a new one. Look, I just got it on me. Yes, this one. Like to let it dry for a second before you blink. Because those hooded lids you can easily transfer it to your upper up here. So I like to just let it sit for a minute before I blink. <laughs> I don't want it like everywhere. Okay, now to the winky looks. Yes, spoolie. And guys, you know, my brows are pretty good. I don't have to do a heck of a whole lot to them. So we're just going to come in, find that point or curve or whatever you want to 
whatever you want to make it and fix it. Looks good. And then I usually fill in a little bit right here because it's, it's sparse right there. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I do. Um, <sighs> my scissors are in my way. Get out of the way, scissors. Um, mascara. I'm going to use this voluminous because it's getting down. Well, there's still quite a bit in there to where I'm knocking everything over. This vanity's got to get cleaned off. So yes, if you don't have this Tarte palette, I'm going to be giving mine away, the brand new one. It makes such pretty looks. I'm not even playing. It makes such pretty, pretty looks. This is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. All right. We didn't get a highlight in. So I'm going to grab the Wet Wild one I have been trying to put a ding in. And she's finally starting to get a little ding in her. And this is one of those holiday brush sets. When you see those come up, look on Walgreens during the holidays. Because they'll usually do them at half price. And you can do a pick up at the store because I think I paid like 10 or $15 for mine that year and pick, just picked it up at the store and it was dirt cheap. I mean, for a whole box set of brushes. Oh gosh, look how pretty that is. Ah, oh, so pretty. Put maybe just a little bit there and... For lips, we got the two lip pencils, and it did say you could fill in um, your lips, and of course, I just dropped the lid. I think these lids do not like staying on. Now, where the heck did that lid just go? Since my eyes are kind of neutral, give me that compact back. I'm going with the dark shade. Hmm. So these do go on very easy. They're not like super creamy. They do feel a little dry, but not so dry that you're having like, eh, 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 you know, to get it going. Look at that jaggy ass line. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Lip gloss will. Send it running because I'm going to go over a lip gloss. No big deal. Unless I get it way up there. I'm not going to fill my whole lip in, but enough that when I go over it with this Jeffree Star lip gloss, it's going to move it around. Okay, maybe that was not the correct lip gloss to use with this, <laughs> but I love his lip gloss. So, okay. Okay. 
But you see what I'm saying? Once I put the lip gloss on and go that lined evened itself out, it corrected itself. So and you can look at your line and see if it needs any touch ups. Okay, here's the only thing, and this is why this would be the only reason I would want to go get lip fillers. My bottom lip is fuller than my top lip. So, especially here. So, when I go, it will put the product on the outside of my lip line, which is what you're seeing here. See that? Because my bottom lip is fuller than my top lip. And that's the only thing I don't like about my lips is the top lip comes in on the edges more than the bottom lip. The bottom lip is fuller. So I usually just have to clean that up a little bit. Put a little bit of that color back in there. And that's it. All I need is a setting spray. I have my MAC here. I think my mascara should be dry enough to hit. And this was my work here today. Just natural. But that's it, guys. That is our boxy charm goodies. And that turned out very, very pretty. I love, love, love that palette. So one of you guys will be getting it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure you hit subscribe so you will know when that pop-up giveaway goes up. And it won't be like at the beginning. It probably won't say it in the title. It may say surprise um, or something like that. And it'll probably be at the end when I announce it. So you'll have to watch the videos to the end. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next.